Air fryer crappie. It's something I've heard about so many times, but I've never actually got the chance to do it. I looked up a recipe online and today I'm going to be comparing your traditional pan fried crappie versus air fried crappie. We're going to try it out today and I'm going to do a comparison for you guys. So let's hop right into it. Now I'm actually going to be taking a page out of my own book today and I'm actually going to be soaking all of these crappie fillets in hot sauce for about an hour or two before I start cooking. If you guys haven't seen that video and where I talk about this recipe, make sure to check it out right up there. It's honestly my favorite way to cook crappie. So I'm gonna do that. And we're gonna get these crappie fillets right here in the bag with the hot sauce. So let's go ahead and do that first. Now for this big quart bag full of crappie, we're actually probably gonna have to put pretty much the whole bottle of this in there so that all of the fish can get soaked. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put all of this in there and um, let this soak in the fridge for a little while. So here's the bag right here with the hot sauce in it. We're gonna let that soak for about an hour and a half or so. Alrighty guys, so here's all the stuff that I'm gonna be using for this video. We've got our fish, uh, some fries and onion rings just for the side. We've got some Pam like cooking spray. We've got some vegetable oil just for me pan frying. We've got Louisiana fish fry. If you guys have never tried this, there's a link down in the description below to pick some up. This stuff is the best breading you can possibly use. Then we've got our breading shaker. We'll be putting the breading and the fish in there and shaking it up so that each fish fillet gets an even coating. And then we've got our air fryer, which I have preheated to 400 degrees. So now that that's all set up, let's go ahead and get the fish out and start breading them. So all I'm gonna do is take the Louisiana fish fry and just dump it right into the shaker. I don't really know if one bag will be enough. We're gonna start out with one bag and we're gonna start taking fish and putting into this shaker right here. So we've got our fish with the hot sauce and laying fish into the shaker. Just like this. Now, all we have to do is put the lid on just like this. Now, once your lid's secure, we really just start shaking, flip her over, start shaking side to side. All you're doing is covering all the sides of this fish. So there we go, keep shaking and uh, don't do what I just did. Make sure your lid is always secure at all times. Those fish should now be perfectly covered in seasoning. So like, let's just take one right here. Take a look at that. Perfectly breaded, ready to go. So now I'm just gonna do all the rest of this off camera. I'm just gonna take the rest of the pieces of fish and put them into here and bread them all up evenly and then uh, we'll go from there once I get all this done. Guys, take a look at this 14 inch filet right here. This is a 14 inch crappie, absolutely beautiful. And we're gonna put it on the plate. And with that, we are ready to get going. Now as for the pan frying, I'm gonna show none of that on camera. I'm just gonna simply be showing you guys the air fryer method. But if you guys don't know how to pan fry crappie, take a look right up there. I post another video where I go through that process. But today's video is solely the air fryer. It's still preheating. I wanna get it all the way up to 400 degrees. Then we'll get the fish in there and we will be cooking. I can't wait to try this guys. I've heard it's really good, we just gotta see. So we've got the air fryer preheated. It's gonna be nice and hot. So what we're going to do is take some of this cooking spray. We're going to take the filet that we want to uh, put in there and we're going to spray the top of it. Just like so. Put her down in there and spray the top. Just like that. And we're gonna do that with a few more filets to kind of fill it up. So again, spray, I mean, it's off camera here, but spray the top. Flip her over, spray the other side, and put it on there. Now, it is overlapping just a tiny bit right here. So I'm gonna kinda try and move this around like so. Okay, there we go. They are ready to go. So we're gonna put it in, and we're going to set a timer for about four minutes. There we go. Right at four minutes, we're gonna let those go. It's so essentially by putting that cooking spray on there, it's gonna make sure that they're non-stick, they won't stick to anything, and it'll get a nice golden crisp cook all the way around. So we're gonna let these go for about four, four and a half minutes. We're gonna take them out, and then what we're gonna do is flip them over and do again about four, four and a half minutes, and then they'll be done and ready to go. So I'm gonna get all of that going, and then it looks like the oil's getting pretty hot. I'm gonna go ahead and get these crappie into the skillet, and then uh, here in a few minutes, we'll get a good comparison. So, man. I'm pumped guys. All right, timer is up. So that means it is time to go ahead and flip these bad boys. 
don't really know the easiest way to do this is. And then just flip her over like so. So that one's already breaking apart, which I guess is really pretty good. There we go, flip it over. Yeah, this stuff's like already falling apart pretty easily, which is a good sign. We're gonna put them in there for another probably five minutes. I wanna make sure they are a little bit crispy. So, eh, there we go. That's about right. We're gonna put them back in and uh, it's looking pretty good. So literally after four, four and a half minutes, going to flip them over, they're already flaking and breaking apart really easily. So I can't wait to see what they turn out like after they've been in there for another four and a half, five minutes. So I hope they're gonna turn out amazing. We'll have to see again. This is my first time doing this. And I wanted to share the experience with you guys. So uh, yeah, they're back in there, flipping them over. They'll be out in five minutes. So they are done. Set it right here. Okay, it's just from feeling it, they feel nice and crispy. So that's cool. I was a little bit worried about this one because this is my biggest filet. So we'll break into that in a second and make sure it's completely done. Uh, yeah, none of them got stuck to the pan. That's good. There we go. We're just getting them all out, all these little pieces. Getting them onto the plate. And then I have a few more fillets that are actually gonna go in here. And then um, I'll be ready to eat and test them out for you guys. So I'm gonna get this second batch done and then I'll go ahead and do a comparison for you guys. Alrighty guys, so right here I have three pieces of air fryer crappie and then right here is a traditional pan fried crappie. So uh, just to get an idea on what we're looking at here, I'm gonna go ahead and just take a bite of the regular pan fried crappie and uh, you know, just crop we all know and love. That's some good fish. You really can't mess up pan fried fish. But now this, this is the interesting one. I'm just gonna break this open, take a look at it. Wow, really white flaky meat, crispy on the outside. I mean, it looks just about the same as the uh, pan fried fish, but I mean, let's take a bite and see if it tastes the same. I'm sure it'll be close, but we'll have to see. That is almost too close to tell. I'm gonna take another bite. Literally, I mean, you you might could tell the difference, but that is absolutely incredible how close these two are to each other. And of course, if you take a look at this one, you're gonna have a more crispy golden brown color than the air fryer but they taste the same. They have the same flakiness, the same crispiness on the outside. I'm telling you guys, these are almost identical. I am quite surprised how close these came out to each other. So there it is, air fried crappie. Does it work? Absolutely. I'm blown away by how close in quality, taste, look, everything, these two fish are to each other. I mean, granted, I'm so used to pan fried crappie or deep fried crappie, just, you know, the usual, but this air fried crappie is so good. And I mean, if I didn't have, you know, vegetable oil or peanut oil or something I could fry them in, throw them in the air fryer and it turns out almost the exact same. Now, granted, air frying is probably going to be better for one or two people because you're going to have to just keep turning them over, keep changing them out. Uh, you can't really fit a lot in there unless of course you have like a mega air fryer the one we have would be better for almost kind of like a snack or something like that so um yeah regardless they turned out very well uh, i'm curious to see if you guys have ever tried it before if not try it come back to this video and leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think about it and if you're new here make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications because i'll be doing more experiment videos like this in the future so i hope you guys enjoyed and until next time jay schmiller went out See ya.